Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm Nuraziza from ARB Rohingya News. Today I will share a news. But before that, please share and subscribe this channel for receive a good news every day for you are. So news today. Talk about the UN fact-finding team led by former Indonesian Attorney General Marzuki Darusman released the finding of human rights violation affecting ethnic minorities in Myanmar, including Rohingya. The report was based on information gathered from 600 interviews with victims and witnesses as the fact-finding team visited Bangladesh, Malaysia and Thailand. Marzuki, reading the report to the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva, Switzerland, said that the incident they investigate in detail in the current Kachin and Shan states are manifestation of systematic and substantive pattern of human rights abuses in Myanmar. Any denial of the seriousness of the situation in the kind that reported human rights abuses and the suffering of the victim is untenable. The team also have hundreds of terrible credible recognition. They have witnesses of hundreds of eyewitnesses and also have seen photo and picture of satellites of the Rohingya village flattened by bulldozers, erasing all traces of life and community that were once there, not to mention destroying any evidence of crime that might exist. In addition to re to recognition of the destruction of Rohingya village, the UN fact finding team report contained witnesses of mass rape and murder of children, the white spirit and systematic nature of state sponsored violence against planning and organizing first and the team of fact finding will investigate in detail. They are analyzing the role and structure of the security force command and the involvement of others. They will aim the responsibility of each party. The UNPAC finding team was formed by the UN Human Rights Council in March 2017 to get the fact and situation of elected human rights abuses by the military and security force in Myanmar. So that's all. I'm Nuraza from ARB Rohingya News. Walaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.